Hello and welcome back. This is the Prussian Prince with this uh, Hard to Find 3 Let's Play as Yugoslavia. So, I believe the war should start any time now. I can wait till I have the needed manpower. Hang on, I'm actually a little thirsty because of how much I've been recording. I'm thirsty really quickly. Seems like we're actually losing uh, some territories still, but it's all good. Besides this part, of course, that's quite annoying that uh, that is happening. Not sure why. Hmm. Just uh, gonna zoom out a little bit and gonna take a look at the, what's going on in the world. So I can't actually do anything right now. Besides, make more units. I can make one extra unit of infantry and anti tank because that's pretty good. My monthly gain is quite respectable right now. Probably almost as big as Germany's. But Germany actually has a billion more units than I do, so it's. Hmm, how should I put it? It's just. Not units, but leaders, that's what I mean. And that makes a big difference. Since they have a lot more leaders than me. Okay, and they, I need another infantry division over here, which I haven't actually deployed yet. Or do I? No. Do all these guys have leaders? No, right? No. A lot of them don't have leaders. I could send one of these infantry guys all the way up there, probably. But I don't have the best defense, though. That's a huge problem need more and more units to defend like one division per province that's just not enough guys just a very very small amount so here I go I'm gonna send in another unit to defend because I gotta do that otherwise I'm in a lot of trouble still gonna add like two extra units because I gotta do it I need like a ton more units to I just don't have enough to keep the border safe with the uh, with the Soviets because the Soviets just have a lot more units than I do. Oh, they they've attacked over here again. Those uh, Americans, American partisans. Wow. Okay, cavalry. Here we go. Cavalry. Any more places? Oh no, I have lost this battle. What is that? Why is that? That's quite annoying, actually. All right, here we go. I'm gonna attack here. Am I gonna lose that garrison? I hope not. Here we go. I'm starting the attack over here. Need this cab unit on the way too to help me assist, to assist me in uh, dealing with those. Actually, I lost the garrison. Huh. It's actually quite uh, funny how I pull them back when I shouldn't have. Oh well. I have an extra infantry unit and that's gonna be good for me. I'm gonna deploy it here and I'm gonna send it all the way up here, I guess. Or should I? Maybe like up there, yeah. Seems like it's needed much more over there. Of course need more units and another infantry unit. I'm gonna deploy it here. It's just so annoying how they keep taking my provinces. My nice provinces. You shouldn't take my provinces. Why do you do this to me? There we go. I'm gonna force them back. Or rather, force them out of this place. They are really annoying. Okay, and my infantry units, how much do they have? Like 82 organization. That's pretty good, isn't it? Next, our agriculture tech would be done in November. So I'm gaining 23 mo monthly manpower. That's uh, That's pretty good, actually very high and in like one year a little bit over a year I'm gonna be getting my extra agriculture technology I'm uh, quite pleased with the where I am right now of course this last unit is gonna die any moment now it's gone which makes me quite happy but I don't have enough units still inefficient research indeed but it's still good okay so now Let's see, simplified terrain map mode. Hmm, 
I'm gonna have to put one more unit there because I just have to do that. Wow, Denmark exists. Wow, what is this? And Spain is getting conquered by the British. It's not looking too good for the Axis. But yeah, in, as I said in 46, should we attack in 46? No, maybe like November of this year because it's just taken way, way too long to start the war. So we might as well just do it. Do it while we can. Yeah, politics. I actually didn't look here to see if I can replace the ministers with some better ones. Seems like there are no better ones. Yeah, those are all the ones that I have. Alright, sure. Next production. We still have a lot more infantry divisions left to deploy. Well, not a lot. I have some, but it's just crazy. Like, how am I gonna defend this? Because this. I'm more afraid of this side. Because this looks. I have no units here, but this looks pretty much okay. Like, I'm not gonna lose here. Even though I only have like four divisions per province. That's kind of bad too but anyway I don't think I'm gonna lose this uh, side over here I think that's all uh, fine okay, I need to make a lot more infantry and yeah, first aid advance it's pretty good I need it to, to advance even more so all the technologies they're pretty much ahead of time and this infantry division over here, I'm just gonna use it to strategically redeploy all the way over there. Wait, why do I have a unit here? It's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Simplify terrain map mode. Oh, maybe over there, because this is a hill, so it's easier to defend. Casualty trickle back, lower. Combat medicine again, pretty good stuff. Oh, I can actually make another infantry unit. Yay, that's good. Hmm. Of course, I just need to keep uh, producing units, and I need more leaders, but I don't have any more leaders. I, I wish Germany could give me some leaders, because they should definitely have a few. And they're still below 300 brigades. Japan almost has as many brigades as they do. What is this craziness? I don't get it. Japan, what? This place is still heavily contested. It's like, what? Oh, they have completely ignore this place oh almost yeah they're sending a lot more troops to the north right now but them going over the the rivers I want to see them try that I want to see them go over the rivers oh I, I need to send this unit over here by the way because I have no anti-tanks over there oh actually no anti-tank unit over here either that's pretty pretty bad Another unit for the ready for deployment. So where I'm gonna put it? Well, I have a lot of anti tanks around here. Oh, no anti tanks here. That's a bad, bad thing. Need at least one here. I have two anti tanks here and two here, so that's pretty decent. But it is not enough. I need at least five divisions per province, and I'm quite far away from that right now. In the north especially, like, I don't know how I'm, uh, how I'm gonna be able to defend against the Russians. I mean, surely I have great army composition, but it's just not gonna be enough. Oh, more militia units have arrived. And look at Spain and Portugal. What the hell has happened over here? Just madness. And Turkey. Turkey should actually be able to handle uh, them quite easily. Over here, though, I'm... Uh, this is not looking too good because of what... UK is doing so yeah should I declare war on Soviet Union no because I would get decimated right now just just not looking good Th these two over here they're the ones that are, are gonna die first to begin with Xianyang of course that province is still having issues here no leaders here but a lot of AT units I'm gonna have to strategically redeploy one unit all the way over there but the problem is that there's no units over here like absolutely zero units I don't know why there's a deficiency of units over there but there is of course though this one is gonna be hard to attack this one not really it's planes it could be attacked from two sides and I could be killed very very soon especially this is uh, hard to defend even though it's past the river 
still difficult. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I'm gonna do strategic redeployment again over here. This is a marsh, so this is hard to attack. At least you would think so. Oh, never mind. Attack here, attack here. Do it like this. Maybe, okay, go like this. That looks pretty decent. Okay, so let's try it. All those uh, units. Oh no, it's another one at the same time. Damn, those Americans have done stuff now. Oh wait, like this and like this. Yeah, that's probably the way you want it to do it. Take them out and then uh, go back. Yep, all of those, they should be dying. And they have died. Of course, this unit here, it's not doing too, too well. Well, it's actually doing extremely well. But what? There's more of them? This is crazy. Here we go. I'm attacking it. There's even more. Where have they appeared? I don't see them. Oh, I still don't see them. Oh, well. I guess somewhere where there are already partisans, maybe? I don't know. Oh, wait. Here's a problem, but we're dealing with it. Do okay. I'm gonna deal with this. Take out that uh, province. It's gonna be ours. So yeah, this is uh, overall quite a crazy situation. I could add in even more infantry divisions, and probably I should. I can only add in two right now, though, and I just. I just don't have enough units all the way up here. It's just not enough. That's that's how it is. I do have extra infantry units, but it's just just laughable amount of infantry units that I have here. However, if I take care of the garrisons, though I don't like doing this, I'm gonna start doing this because I, I actually need the manpower. And those garrisons do cost quite a bit of manpower. So I actually have like 63 manpower right now. Pretty significant. I only want one garrison per province. And though this heavily lowers the the defense capabilities on the naval ports, it's gonna have to be done. I have to take this risk. So otherwise I don't have a strong enough uh, military to deal with the deal with the was it to deal with the Soviet Union so now I have quite a bit of manpower so this means I can actually make like 10 infantry divisions well I can't but not right now but still so this this is actually good that I can do that now I have I just have to worry with uh, worry about cab units not much else even though right now the revolt risk is much much higher than it used to be have to deal with that. Should I use this? Uh, it's not too many, not too too many garrisons, so it's all right, I I guess. Okay, I'm gonna destroy those. They disband some of the garrison units uh, once I don't need them, though. Like later on, slightly later on. Okay, this division is gonna be done soon. Norway is being annoying. Denmark is killed, and here they're, they're pushing into France. This is just. How are they doing this? I don't get it. How, oh, but apparently they are. And Germany cannot do a thing. Great. What is this? Another landing here. And this is not ours, I think. Or is it? Might be, yeah. But these parts definitely not. Not looking good here. Here is still a stalemate. Well, it shouldn't be a stalemate, but somehow it is. Hmm. This is just not looking good. I don't know what they're doing. And no units here at all to defend. I still don't understand that. Japan and Manchukuo, what are you guys doing? Totally don't get it, I'm sorry. Hmm. United Kingdom conquered Republican Spain. They conquered Republican Spain. United Kingdom. Are you serious? You're so belligerent. <laughs> so, so belligerent right now. <laughs> oh my. 
More and more partisans. Well, I guess we're just gonna die without fighting Soviet Union. I guess that's how the war is gonna end. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. How much do we have? Quite a lot of infantry practical. It, it seems like it's pretty much maxed. First aid. We need to get quite more of it. Peace offer. Okay, we have almost 140% officer ratio. That's good. And next we have combat medicine. Pretty good too. Agriculture, we're still researching into that. It'll be done in December of next year. An extra infantry division. Where should we put it? Maybe like over there. Three over here, that's how much we can afford. But our problems will be like... Here I think it'll be okay because we have some leaders, but here in the north... Well, we still have some leaders, but a lot of them don't have leaders. So that is actually worrying. I should have disbanded those garrisons long ago and never made them actually. Because I do not have the manpower to afford them. To afford them. But yeah, this, this is going to be a pretty hard war. Not sure how we're going to win it. Or when we're going to win it or whatever, but... Most important thing is I'm not sure if we're going to win it. <laughs> As usual, I'm going to be handling Soviet Union almost myself. But anyway, hope you guys and girls enjoyed. And if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, and subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And I'll see you next time.